Hey Al, this is John D. I hope you're doing well. I really enjoyed talking with you yesterday. Wanted to put a quick screencast video together for you. Um, kind of show you my thoughts and my insights into why I do things the way I do them to get ranked in Google. Also take a look at your website and give you some tips and tricks um, to move yours along as well. Um, first off, looking at your website, this is pretty much what everybody's doing in San Antonio. Um, they have very little content on their site and they have lots of pictures, things like that. So you know, if we look at your homepage, there's basically what, three paragraphs of content. Let's look at another page, two paragraphs, uh, concerts, three sentences. So you kind of get the idea. One thing I would recommend right off the bat is increase that content. Um, the reason is uh, when people search for limos in San Antonio, they're not always going to search, you know, the same way. Some people are going to put San Antonio limo. Some people are going to put limousine rental San Antonio. Some people will put, you know, limousine rental San Antonio, Texas. So whenever I make a website, I tie in all those keywords into my content so that way Google can pick up on those keywords and rank me higher for that particular search. Um, and the reason why content is so important, if you could do a search for Michael Jordan, um, pretty much the any search you're going to do, no matter what, Wikipedia is going to probably show up first or second. And the reason is, is because they have just so much unique and authoritative content. Um, notice very few pictures. It's just all content. Um, so you kind of get the idea on why content is so important, especially in the local market, because nobody else is doing it. So you can really dominate by having a lot of content. There's ways to overcome the content if you wanted to go around that. But, you know, my business model is just do everything and do it above and beyond everybody else. And that's how I dominate. Um, if we do a search for San Antonio Lemo, you'll see what shows up here in the first section, sometimes on the right here as well. But these are the paid ads. Um, I'll kind of show you how that works in just a minute. Down here is what's called the map pack. And then below that is all the organic results. Um, I think I found you on page seven. So right now, as of today, currently you're sitting on page seven in um, San Antonio Lemo. Now back to the map pack, if we look at citations, and I'll show you why they're important, this is primarily what gets you into this local map pack. Um, it'll have your business name. If you have more than five reviews from Google, it'll be listed here. It'll have your website and then even give you directions. Um, but citations basically are your business name and your address and your phone number listed in different directories throughout the web. Um, obviously, the more directories you're in, the better. The more specific related directories you're in, the better. So if there's limo directories or things in transportation, if you're in those directories, that's even better. But looking at a report I ran here for citations in the, the San Antonio limo business area, if you look at Elegant, they're in the top three, 119 citations. San Antonio Lemo, 105. Um, you're sitting at 53 right now. And what's pretty neat is this report, I can kind of compare the two companies. So you're on the left here, Elegance on the right. If you guys have two check marks, then you both have those citations in this directory to the left. Anything in red you don't have, and vice versa over here. So you can kind of go side by side and kind of compare to what they have and what you don't have. And basically, a citation is just your, like I said, your business name your address and your phone number in these different directories. Um, I usually outsource, but like, let's take this one. I usually outsource to have citations done, but you can do them yourself. It's not that hard. Um, you just look for something that says get listed or add your business. You come here, click get free listing, and then you'd come in here and add your phone number, your name, email, all your information, um, you know, describe your business and then just hit submit and then that's one more listing that would go on your your tally so um if you're interested i can email you this report and you can start doing this yourself if you really wanted to to start moving your citations up um, the next thing that we'll look at is what's called backlinks um, backlinks are basically the most important thing when it comes to how to get ranked in google if you skip on everything else 
and you go crazy with backlinks, uh, as long as they're done the right way, you can, can really rank in Google. And all a backlink is, is basically Google is a popularity contest. Google figures that if you have more sites linking up with yours and talking about you, then you must be relevant and you must be important, so you should be ranked on the first page. So what is a backlink? Um, let's look at Elegant Limo. You know, same thing, lots of pictures, very little content, but they are heavy on links. Um, if we go to City Info, you can see they're reaching out to a lot of different uh, businesses, a lot of hotels here, um, restaurants, weather. They got an events calendar. They got a site for the Spurs. But there's different ways to get backlinks. Like, let's click this one, Hyatt Regency Hill Country. So they have a link on their site showing anybody that rents limos from them that, hey, this is a good place to stay in return. You know, it might be near somewhere you wanted to find it. They might have a link hooking back to uh, their limo business. So that's one way to get links. Um, you know, if you join the Better Business Bureau and you're an accredited member, they're going to give you a very powerful link to your site that uh, will help you boost in the rankings. Same thing with the Chamber of Commerce. Those all cost money, um, but they're worth it in the long run. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get backlinks, and I can explain that to you as as we get going along. But um, I'll give you an example here real quick. Like this is one of my websites here in San Antonio. I've got a link here. You know, this is my San Antonio website, but I've got a link that says you're ever in Seattle, looking for a great night. Click here, and it links to one of my buddy sites that he has in Washington. So that's another way that we link up together. So like I said, there's lots of different ways to get uh, to backlink with uh, other businesses. Um, I personally have created a network here in San Antonio and Austin where I own um, a whole bunch of domains and a whole bunch of websites and I basically own those and I talk about the different sites that I want to get ranked. So I've created this large network and then I kind of point those links into the sites that I want to get ranked and moved up in Google. So looking at your site real quick, again, you're relatively new. Um, this is Majestic SEO. It shows how many backlinks you have. You've got three backlinks from two referring domains. Again, these are relatively no, but low, but I mean, you're only, what, four months old. Um, so that's understandable. But this is one of the backlinks you have. This is DynaWeb. Those are your SEO guys. And then another one here. Let's look at uh, this one. So this is DynaWeb Portfolio. Did it not open? There it is. I hit the wrong button. So this is their, looks like there are a whole bunch of clients they have. There you are there. So they have a whole bunch of different clients. They have a site and they link to all their different clients. So that's a, a backlink coming into your site. And then this one here, make sure I hit that one. All right, this is some find open, some business directory. Let's see if I can find you. And there you are there. So this is their link going to your site. It's got your address perfect perfect and perfect just like it's in google so that's another backlink coming to you so again the more backlinks the better and the more quality backlinks the better as well so let's take a look at your site here again so again one thing off the back i noticed was the content um, and then if you really want to get in the map pack the citations and then what takes the most amount of time and that's most expensive is the uh, backlinks. And again, you know, I've created a whole network that I've used to to promote my sites and my science flights. Um, here's a, a site that I just built literally three days ago for a client in Austin. Um, it's a counselor. But I just want to take a look at this with you real quick. Again, lots of authoritative and unique content on this site. Again, I don't think anybody's going to read all this content. 
um, but I know one thing that will, and that's Google. Every time somebody searches in Google, um, Google is going to read every word of this content. So that's why I take the time to write the content. If you notice here, you know, Austin Counseling Service, Austin Therapist, Top Rated Counselor in Austin, Marriage Counseling, Austin Therapy Affordable. Um, come down here, Counseling of Austin. So basically what I'm trying to do, individual counseling, is grab all those keywords and uh, just scoop them up and, and get me ranked in Google. I wanted to show you one last thing real quick, and that is what's called SEM Rush. Let's take a quick look at Elegant. They're the top dog in San Antonio right now. Um, this tool is really incredible. This kind of basically shows you everything. Um, looking at SEM Rush, let's go to organic research. They're getting about 1,300 visitors a month to their site. Um, you know, they started off with three up to 200s, but you can kind of see how they went up over the, the years. If they were to pay Google to get this amount of traffic, they would be spending almost $3,000 a month to get what they're getting organically. Um, so it's real important to get uh, everything done properly, the content, the citations, and the backlinks to get to this point here. Um, we talked about the keywords. Again, these are the different keywords in San Antonio that somebody might search for limousine. If you look here in this column, this is the volume. Um, to give an example, example, somebody might type San Antonio Lemo. They're doing that 390 times a month in San Antonio. Somebody else is going to type Lemo San Antonio, Texas, and there's about 70 people that do that a month. Somebody down here is typing Limousine San Antonio TX, and they're doing that 50 times a month. So that's why I have the content written the way I do, because I'm trying to grab as many of these keywords as I can when Google um, is searching for the, the relevant website. Um, if you look over here, this is the cost per click column here, and this is the keyword that's related to. So, for example, if somebody's running an ad and it's a limousine service in San Antonio that's searched and they're in the top spot up there where the ads are, and somebody clicks on that ad, they're going to pay Google $3.08 for every click, whether they stay on there a second or whether they rent a limo. doesn't matter. They're going to spend 3 bucks every time somebody just clicks their ad. So that's why I like to get in organically because these can add up, and a lot of times you have people clicking that have no intention of, of buying it. So hopefully that kind of gave you an insight into kind of what I do. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call. Um, I've got uh, your email. I'm going to email you the citation list if you want. Um, I don't know if you wanted to start doing citations, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, like I said, I don't do any of the paid citations. If it costs money, I just skip it and go on to the next one because there are so many free listings that you can do. Um, as your business gets going, then I would recommend to uh, get a, a credit listing with the business, Better Business Bureau, Chamber of Commerce, things like that, because those are really big citations and really huge, powerful backlinks to have. So if you have any questions, certainly give me a call. I appreciate your time, Al, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a good day.